I'm Carolyn Freeman, and I live in Cottonwood, Arizona. I am a self-employed virtual assistant, and this is my daughter, Kelsey, who's going to be graduating from high school this year. And she was diagnosed about three years ago. She was having some stomach upset, and uh, unfortunately, a doctor wrote in there, diagnosed her with GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disorder. And it really turned, it resolved on its own. I think it was just st teenage stress related, but Blue Cross Blue Shield will not cover her for anything related for, to her stomach for the entire time she is under contract with them. There are a lot of times whenever I get sick, usually with like strep throat, or, you know, even a cold that's just, you know, really got me down. Uh, and I need antibiotics to get better, because I'm missing school, you know, left and right, because I have a crappy immune system. And, you know, I don't like mentioning, you know, hey, I think I actually do need to go to the doctor because, well, you know, I know it's gonna cost money and I feel bad, like, having to ask my mom, you know, to spend more money on stuff that I know we don't have the money for, <laughs> even though it is important, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's tough. That's why we don't go on vacation, we don't go to movies, we really don't do much of anything except just try to survive and, and do the best we can. I'm planning to move to Texas in uh, about June. The main reason is, is that Kelsey, through her father passing away three years ago, has had uh, Social Security income. However, that stops on the day that she turns 18. And it, has not, it, it doesn't matter if she goes to college or anything, it just stops. That's what's been paying our rent. When that is gone, we cannot live here. And I've got to say, you know, telling this story, I know there's so many other people out there that they're a lot worse off than I am. I'm, I'm grateful for what I have. I don't feel it's right. I think it desperately needs to be changed or you're gonna end up with a bunch of dead people. I see the only solution as being a national program of health care without the involvement of insurance companies. Let's get rid of them, get them out of the picture completely and totally. I don't know where they're going to go and what they're going to do, but they'll find another really good profit hole or a way to make a lot of money, I'm sure. Um, they always do. Mm -hmm. So that any of us can go and, and expect the same quality of care that our national leaders are privy to. If I can just hold on long enough without getting desperately ill, that's what I'm hold that's what that's the only thing I can do. That's the only thing I can do.